that's basically a process to control a traffic violation. That so the input here it's basically uh, a driver ID that represents a driver in our system and a violation information. So let's say this driver, uh, we have a, a violation that it was detected for this driver. So first I uh, included a service test here, th this first step, that's basically given a driver ID, it fetches for some driver information. So to make it simple, this is just a mock service, but it could be anything. It could be accessing another microservice uh, using REST or whatever, or even accessing a database table to, to get this information. But to make it simple, I'm just returning uh, some mock of, of the driver. And then the next step would be to validate the license to check the expiration date of the, the license to say, oh, this is a valid license or this is an expired license. If the license is expired, then we finish and end the process. Otherwise, we move on and then we, in fact, evaluate the violation. So given the driver information and the traffic violation information, we run a DMM service that is basically the same um, decision that we already have in, under Cogito examples that checks if the, the driver is suspended or not. And then we finish, and then the process, given the, the, the driver was suspended or not, just logging the information here. Here is the, the web page of Red Hat developers. So here it's where the, the developer, once it ha you have the, the account created, you just log in, and then you, you can have easily a sandbox for you. That it's a, a cluster of OpenShift in the cloud for free. And then you can test and run. I think pods, uh, are deleted after some hours, I think 12 hours, something like this. But the idea is to, to use it to test your applications running, in fact, in OpenShift in the cloud, and then you can see how, how it works in practice, okay? I, ju I just need to build and to push the image that it's built during the process into some container registry. In my example, I'm using Quay.io from Red Hat, that it's a container registry. Because since we are, uh, we are running a Quarkus application, we can just include a dependence, for instance, here, that generates the image for us locally. So here I'm running Maven clean style normally, but I, I'm passing more information when building. The idea is once I build uh, the, pro the project here, it will publish the image under Quay.io because I configured to do it. Yeah, so here is the Quay.io repository. And then here I can see that I deployed an image here. Uh, actually, I pushed an image to, to Quay.io under the repository that I created. All the, this information is set either using uh, properties while you're building Quarkus, or you can set the, the, the properties under the application uh, dot properties as That's well. It. I mean, with just this information, I can build and push the image to Quay. What is the next step? It's a deploy uh, to OpenShift. So here is the my running instance of OpenShift. So, so now I don't have any pod running. Okay. What I need to do is basically to deploy. I want to deploy that image that I I built before. So I created this file here, process decision YAML. That is the descriptor used uh, by OpenShift or Kubernetes or to deploy our application. So let me open here again. So basically, as a, as a traditional uh, OpenShift or Kubernetes application, first uh, I'm declaring the deployment where I can set the image that I want to deploy, okay? And then I can, I'm setting in some environment properties that will be used when this, this application will be deployed uh, in OpenShift. After that, I'm declaring a service for that deployment, exposing the proper, proper uh, ports, okay? And then here is a route because I want to expose my process to the external world. And then I have the other services. I have one deployment for the validation, the, the decision validation. I have the service to go with that. And then I have the violation service as well, uh, declared here in the same way. 
to allow the communication between them. We can use the OpenShift client to, to apply that file. So I, I want to say OpenShift to apply this, this file for me in the, in the cluster, okay? It's running, running, running. So everything is running. So I have one pod for the validation service, another pod for the violation, and I have two instances of the process. So if you see here, now instead of using localhost, I'm using the endpoint of the road that it was created, okay? And here is my process uh, that I'm using in that example. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Basically, that's it, should work. Yeah, so that's it. So, so it's but it's basically this a similar approach running embedded or in a distributed way. 